guys, I'm gonna Alk this stuff. The Torag Plate Body gives the exact same stats, by the way, but I lost with this, so fuck it. We're Alking it. Alk Dark's Plate Body. The oh, Sarah Bruise! Yes! There we go. That's what we wanted to see. That is what we wanted to see. Pills it pills? Okay, cool. I will see you guys in the next episode. Looks like we're social distancing here. Kids, that's very good practice in these times. It'll be one click away. That should be 470. I've clicked that by accident, but it'll be one click away to get connected. I think we can either go up one, we could go side one. Some J mod is watching these fights, bro, and they're like, "Yeah, you know what? Let's <laughs> fuck with them." Episode 23, welcome guys, welcome. Has been a couple of crazy defeats over here on Team Rarg, but you know what? We are not going to let it get to us. We're going to keep pushing forward. As you can see, 73 range. All 300k XP just went right into range. I want to try to keep that range advantage. I really thought about putting it in other skills, either melee or magic, but decided against it. I really want to keep that range advantage, and I knew it would get me really close to 74, and it's just, uh, it, the range level is shooting up. His is, of course, as well, too. Um, he is going to put his into defense. It'd be, I'd be a bit confused if he didn't, to be honest, but then again, he's winning anyway without doing it, so, but let's be honest, he's going to get 70 defense by the end of this episode. So, Probably going to get 74 range, and that's what I wanted. That's awesome, and we will get that by the end of this episode as well. So, anyways, that's where my XP went. This episode, it's going to be a lot of questing. A lot, a lot of questing. We're going to start Recipe for Disaster, and we're going to do the Evil Dave portion so we can get the stews that can boost Fletching. I could easily get 55 Fletching. We need a plus 3 boost so we can go for the Emerald Bolts Enchanted. Now, I know that is quite a weird thing to go for. I, I mean, actually, to you guys, it might seem quite normal. Emerald Bolts honestly aren't that good. They're, they're amazing if you catch your opponent off guard and they don't have an anti-poison. But if they have an anti-poison, they're really shitty. And I'd have to waste an inventory slot, just like Link has to waste an inventory slot for anti-poison. So it kind of does just average out, assuming I have no other way of poisoning. But... I, I actually talked about how this wasn't really my main plan and I didn't really ever want to do Emerald Bolts, but after the past two episodes, I'm going to need to really spend time going for these more like snaky type wins. Um, hopefully he doesn't see it coming. If he does not see Emerald Bolts coming, this wasn't a skill reward, so maybe he just thinks I'm not going to grind out the level. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, it's probably quicker just to get fucking 58 fletching. Actually, that's not true. But I figure if I do Evil Daves now, it'll help me for other bolts going down in the future. And you know what? It, it just seems like the move. It just seems like the move. Plus, Recipe for Disaster, best hybrid gloves you can get. And uh, we can start definitely working towards that as well. Well, hello, bees and Gs. Welcome back to the PvP chunk progression thing, which I think is officially the name of this series now. Um, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, there will be a playlist up in the top right corner here, the little I button, and a playlist in the description as well. If you just want to click the link, click on that, and you get caught up with everything you would have missed. I'm going to be pretty brief here because we are in the desert, and I will take desert heat otherwise. But um, yeah, we got this chunk which completely useless chunk it's really got nothing in it whatsoever um so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting to our giant landmass and by doing that the first one we're going to choose is this out of our five picks this is going to be the first one just because we've got a fairy ring here means that i don't have to do the whole like teleport to lumbridge walk through our grid buy a pass i can just fairy ring here now so if i ever need to make some money or something uh we can do that or if we need to you know do some things down here at some point then maybe we'll be able to do that um which then connects to the uh giant land mass we've got gonna be unlocking these two squares just because they're needed for one small favor and i really want to get the guth express on this account um so that's the two we're going there no other reason uh there's sheep shearer 
other than that, yeah, it's it's literally because one small favor needs those. Um, then I'm going to be going and opening up this chunk here. Same reason um, as before, there's a fairy ring here. I don't think that'll ever be useful, but I do think you need it for a clue step. So maybe there's a small chance we'll do that at some point. Um, and also we can get the sulfur and the coal here. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm doing that. So we can do regicide and roving elves. And then my last pick is White Wolf Mountain, just because it's needed for one small favor. Um, there's also a gnome glider there, so we can get there really quickly, which is nice. Um, there's also the fishing contest um, thing to do, which does unlock higher level um, Cullen and Romancer gloves. I can never say that word, but uh, yeah. So fairly boring picks, but just things that need to be done. Um, I'm going to start this timer and we are going to... Teleport to the Berthorn Games Room. So, let's begin. And as for the unlocks in this episode, of course, as always, we get six, including the one we start in. So that is one right there. Here we are. And we're going to connect it to, you guys guessed it, the giant landmass. So that's going to be three. And this connects us all the way over to the Golem quest and also the Shadow of the Storm quest. So that's four unlocks. Then right here for Demon Slayer. I need that little ring there, unfortunately, but that's gonna be five. Now I can actually complete Bone Voyage this episode because you need a Zaya chunk unlocked. Um, but I wanted it ready when the Zaya happens, if it happens. So we're gonna unlock Fossil Island, the boat, and that connects us to where the deranged archeologist is to get the Black Dehyde body. So yeah, those are my six unlocks, guys. Hopefully that's everything we need to steamroll us through all these quests, anywhere from Gertrude's cat to recipe for disaster to ultimately go for those Emerald Bolty and eventually hybrid gloves. But this episode, we won't be using those gloves, but we'll work our way towards getting to like black Mithril and stuff and final fight material. So I'm gonna try to do all these quests in a strategic order um, and try to collect materials in a way where I'm doing it while I'm questing. Um, like I already got a sardine and stuff for the Gertrude's cat quest, which I'll be doing right after this one. Let's just start recipe for disaster if we can. Just wrapping up Gertrude's cat. Now we got a hug from Gertrude. Oh, yes. <laughs> Find your cat any day. We got a white cat. Nice. And this is... Ooh. And some food. Was that lag or is that just delay? That was kind of weird. This was the first quest I wanted to do because this kitten should grow by the time I get to recipe for disaster where I'm getting the stews. And even if it doesn't, we could just wait until it does because it's definitely under four hours. We have three hours and 47 minutes left and I don't have any fish. Fuck, I sh oh, we have some sardines. I did have sardines! Oh, man, I gotta look at my bank more often. And there we go. That's the Demon Slayer quest complete. Let's quickly look what we have next on our list. We have um, the RFD cook part, or the golem. I'll probably do the RFD cook part. We need to go to, uh, oh, quickest way, Artie. Yes, we want to get, what's it called? A fruit blast. There we go. Easy enough for the recipe for disaster cook part. Um, do I have to? I, I guess I have to do for the quest, don't I? Okay. Yeah. This is a long ass cutscene, but it's fine. Gotta be done, guys. Gotta be done. So let's take a second, figure out what quest we're gonna do next. The golem. We're doing the golem next. Shadow of the Storm after that. And then it's the RFD portion of it. And, um, yeah. Which, while we do that part of the quest, we can get our stews for the plus three boost. I mean, because technically we don't need to do the RFD part of the quest, but it, I feel like it's gonna happen naturally while we're going for the plus three boost because I will get the one fleshing level. Today's plan is to wear Barrow's gear. Oh, I haven't even told you about my um, stats. So I might as well do that while we're uh, off doing the next thing. Uh, so yeah, I put all of my XP. Well, actually I didn't. I put 200 and something K, 230 K maybe. Um, into defense, which took me to 70 defense, which means we can now wear the Barrow stuff that we've got, the Veret Plate Skirt and the Torag Helm. Um, and then I put the rest into range. So we now got 73 range, 70 defense. Really, really happy with that. Uh, so that's where my XP went and that's, uh, that's what's going on. I think we did gain an HP level as well, but of course HP XP is free. Is that a new chest? I don't ever remember seeing that chest before. Um, so what we need is we need Ardy, so yeah, the first plan today is to do Regicide and Roving Elves. That way we'll get ourselves the Crystal Shield, um, which is going to be massive. It actually gives the highest range bonus of any 
one-handed shield in the game. Um, it is only surpassed by an Ellie because of the Ellie's, um, you know, stat or damage reducing bonus. So an Ellie is technically better, but, you know, obviously we're not getting an Ellie on the account. So the, the Crystal Shield really will be absolutely unrivaled. Um, and it's just going to be massive. And the fact Kins went and bought the Toc um, Zill the other day, last episode, like... I don't think it was really a massive waste for him because he was getting the runes passively anyway from doing Barrows. But it, it, it feels good to know that he used some resources and time to get a inferior shield. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if he'll go for the Crystal Shield. Maybe he will. But I, I don't think he's got the unlocks really to go towards it. He's obviously done... Um, he's obviously done... Pff, I can't even remember what he's done. But he's done he's done the quest that gives you the item and stuff. Um... So he has definitely started this sort of quest line, but I'm not sure if his unlocks favor trying to go for something like this. So uh, yeah, the Crystal Shield will be massive. Whether he follows suit and does it um, will be will be down to him. But obviously, he's still got to try and do Barrows, and he's still got to try and get himself those items that he needs before he can even start thinking about a Crystal Shield. So yeah, feeling pretty good about the situation right now. Um, this part is really annoying because we're actually going to lose. That's the quest complete, guys, of the golem. Um, I now need three pieces of black clothing. Normally, I just buy the, the robes and then I dye them black with the black ink, but I don't have access to that. Attention. Attention. Where is it? Is it interact? Yeah, interact. Boom. Stroke. You know, let's feed him too. He's He's been a good little boy. He's been a good little boy recently. Um, okay, we're gonna go to Varrock and just figure something out. Black clothing. Does black armor work? Black full helm? Does that work? Black full helm? Black plate legs? I can get those. That's the quest. Oh, crap. Um, oh, man. Crap. What do I put this to? Um, let's put it to range. Let's put it to range. Screw it. Let's get us a range level. I think it will. And we get a dark light, which I think is gonna be pretty pointless. It does lower defense, the spec. Um... By 5%, yeah, considering we get four doses of defense potion of fight, probably not worth it. But there we go, guys. Okay, Shadow of the Storm is another quest complete. Where's my list? Where's my list? Shadow of the Storm and Golem are both done. Um, now it's just the Evil Dave portion of the quest. Our cat is so far from being fucking grown, though. So while I was thinking what to do next, decided just to top off on that 55 fletching. The Right now, the smart move would be to wait until my cat grows and then do the recipe for disaster evil dave um mini quest get that finished you know make the emerald bolts but to be honest my cat's not going to grow until the very end of the episode when there's like roughly 30 ish minutes left and while that should be enough time it's not something that i really want to risk guys because my rng has just been a little fuck lately and it, it is possible that i might get fucked over and just not get the dyes needed and not getting the correct boosts and then i'll have to make restores to speed up the process because if i get like a negative three um fletching boost or it wouldn't be called a boost at that point but if my fletching goes down three I might need to make restores to fucking bring it back up so i can drink my next dose and stuff but if i have plenty of time i could just relax while doing it and not stress over it um so i decided not to do the mini quest but just use my kitten to go for orange dye um is it dye now it's spices for orange spice so i can boost my fletching and of course i'll save all the other spices that i get but i won't actually try to complete the quest until i get a cat and and also i um have to make my own stews which is really shitty because I can't actually buy them from Camelot, or not even Camelot, Sears Village, because I just don't have that part of the map unlocked. So I'll have to actually make my own stew, which isn't going to take too much time, but it's an extra factored in time, which sucks. But all in the name of poison. And there we have it. 55. Maple longbows is actually really awesome. You don't have the wood cutting level to even cut uh, maples. But that's probably going to be your best fletching XP because while maples are really slow, it's the same speed to get bowstring and to actually add the bowstring. Uh, I hate this part because you can't actually take, once you go over the bridge, it actually stops you from taking anything you drop. So we'll use this on there, equip that, take an egg potato and hopefully we hit the target and we'll only lose one egg potato. 
Looks like we've got it. But yeah, if you drop anything... I think I found this out the hard way as a kid. I dropped like a, a dragon simi or something along those lines. And then I had to like telly back or something to go and get it. Um, so yeah, you can't actually go back and get it because the, the drawbridge gets ripped up. So if you're ever doing this quest or this quest line, remember that. And here we go, guys. This is going to be a regicide completed. Um, and we'll move straight on to roving elves after this. There we go. 13,000 agility XP, 15k. And access to tier 1 or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, let's start roving elves now. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the end of the roving elves quest. It probably isn't. I think we might actually need to plant the seed anywhere in the room. All right, plant. I think we might actually need to go back through the underground pass one more time. I mean, we're going to need to anyway to uh, to get the crystal shield. So, uh, okay, I think this might be roving elves completed. Oh, <laughs> yes. I saw the picture. Shields are for wimps. Give me the bow. No, I don't like running behind mushroom shield, please. Oh, B's and G's. 10,000 strength XP as well. I didn't even know that was coming. Oh, 80 range defense. 80. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. 80 range defense. And it's amazing for melee as well. 50s in the melees. It gives no negative defense bonus it does give negative range and magic but that's fine it's not huge uh, i think the the uh rune kite was giving me minus six or four something like that um so it's not a huge step up in terms of negative range attack but that is amazing 80 range defense is huge Oh my god. Okay, let's telly and let's get out of here. So here in Host Sidious, we actually have access to bowls and a lot of potatoes. So we're going to buy those right now and start the ingredients for a stew. The other ingredient we need is beef. Um, maybe I can buy that somewhere off the top of my head. I don't actually know. But um, even if we can't, I mean, beef is pretty easy to get. Just kill cows for a few minutes and... Should get plenty. I believe this fucker, Chadwell. How we doing, Chadwell? I believe you sell lots of beef. Yes, he does. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna buy some beef. Then we're gonna cook some stew. The cook chance on the Lumbridge range at 40 cooking is like 80%. So I'm not too worried about burning a lot of them. I'm just gonna buy one inventory worth. And basically, however many I don't burn is what we're going with. 21 stews. To be completely honest, if it takes more than 21 stews, the time that would take to get those spices would honestly be pretty unreal. Um, could I just start? Do we actually need to like talk to him? Where's my cat? Uh, let's just try. I know the chance is like freaking 1%. Oh, yeah, he manages to get away. Of course he does. He's gonna be a hell kitten soon. What is it, five? He needs to catch? Maybe it's only one. I don't know. He's gonna become evil. He's gonna become evil, though. He's cute white, though. I like him white. He looks like a snowball. That's his name. His name's Snowball, guys. So as it turns out, I did need to complete the quest to um to actually, you know, drink the stew or eat the stew. Um, But I just got the last piece I needed. We have one brown. We have one yellow, we have two orange, and by the way, look at all the orange I got in the process, so I'm really excited for that. And the last one we needed was red. Red took a while, but since it took a while, we got more orange in the process. So, oh, please tell me this is right. It should be. It This this should be right. Uh, Yes, boom. Okay, guys, let's go cash this in. Then we have, um, what is that, 10 doses of spice over here so maybe we can get it instantly which would be fantastic but i'm also going to keep catching more as i drink them because you know it might it might lower my fletching and i don't have any stores to get it back up so in that time i'm actually going to keep um hunting more rats but um let's cash this in and complete the mini quest which is our first sub part to recipe for disaster you can't eat it by mistake i'm really upset I went through that dialogue too quick and I had to go back and have him taste the stew again. But we did it. There we go. Let's try the stew thing instantly. Let's go back to the bank and grab the rest of our stews out because we can try it like two times. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is we're going to be using all those bones that I showed in the last episode. And we're just going to get our prayer as high as possible. Um, 
I'm debating between going for an obby cape or a fire cape. I looked at the DPS calc, and the fire cape really doesn't do that much in terms of a fight against kins. It's literally like 0.4% extra DPS over an obby cape, so I'm just trying to weigh up which would be better. Um, the problem with a fire cape is it will probably take two to three hours. Um, and if it, if, if it takes, let's say it takes two hours 30, I've only got two hours 20 right now. So I would, I'd have to leave on like wave 50 or whatever, you know? Um, unfortunately on an account like this, I'm not going to be able to do enough damage quickly enough to secure it. So it's the sort of thing that I have to do like at the start of an episode. Um, and that's the reason why I'm not super keen on it because it doesn't even increase my DPS or, or makes the DPS that much better than the DPS would be with an obby cape and you know an obby cape we can sort of get passively just by making money and selling runes and selling that obby maul I've got and stuff um, so it's, it's really trying to work that out now um, whether I should do it or not but either way prayer will be help helpful for the fight it will also be helpful if we do go for a fire cave attempt because uh, obviously we'll get more prayer pots or prayer restores out of our pots um so yeah i'm just gonna run these big bones baby dragon bones and dragon bones up to the wildy altar see what prayer we get um it should be a decent amount of xp hopefully and uh, yeah then i'll just see where i'm at i don't think we're gonna be able to go for a fire cave attempt this time because we are cutting it a bit short like i i probably should have started it like 10 minutes ago realistically to be absolutely sure um and i'd rather not waste two hours of my time and then realize i've run out of uh i've run out of time so yeah we'll see we'll see i'm tossing up between the two but we definitely have the gear and we definitely have the bolts and the pots now so it's definitely you know very doable um it's just whether or not it's going to be worth it Okay, that got us up to 55 prayer, which is a bit annoying because if I had 56 prayer, I'd actually get one more prayer point per dose of prayer potion. So a little bit annoying we couldn't hit 56. Um, and that's kind of the reason why we're going to go here to the baby reds. Uh, again, want some gravity keys, want some XP. We're only 23k XP away from 74 range. So it means we can go ahead and, uh, and grab ourselves that range level. Just kidding. We can actually try it three times. So let's put the orange uh, spice in. Now we have to actually fletch this and then add the tips to the mithril bolt. So we got to be quick. We're not even going to check the level. We're just going to try it. Now, up oh, minus four. Okay. Stuff like that. That's why I want to keep catching rats. Oh, we do. Okay. Actually, screw it. Let's just try it all fucking right now, right? Restore potions doesn't restore your fletching level? Never mind then. Let's, let's go back to rats. Okay. I learned something new today. All right. It's time to try again. It's time to try again. Three doses of orange in the stew. My favorite tasting stew. That is three, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Another... Oh, dang. I, what? Minus four again. It's okay. It's okay. It's only a one in four chance of getting what we want, and we only did it twice, and we still have more. We still can do one more without getting any extra orange, so we'll see. We're still trying. We have four minutes to kill now to freaking <laughs> try to get more orange. Okay, I just want to say how lucky I've been getting with the orange spices. Uh, just got a an, another two dose, I think it was. I, I combined them, and I just got a four dose. Uh, I want to say this should be enough, uh, just statistically speaking, but of course anything could happen. We have more stews in the bank, but again, we're just going to keep doing this until we get 55 and just do it again and do it over and over and over again. So the stew. All right, time for another round. One, two, three. We are 55, right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. Drink it. Come on. 57 we can do it again back to back though one two three uh i just want to make sure i'm not misclicking here because that would ruin everything uh okay drink 58 oh man we can do it again we need more stew though oh come on come on come on come on i think that was four so that mm, damn it damn it damn it let's try it again though Okay, my orange spice. I still have a decent amount of orange spice. Yeah, we have... Oh, we can do two more. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yep, drink. 58, 57 again. Okay, one, two, three, drink. 
Dude, I, 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 uh... Okay, bees and G's, this is gonna be probably the last thing I do. We got three grubby keys. Um, I got 74 range and 56 prayer. So pretty happy with that. Couple of upgrades there. No HP level, unfortunately. Um, three grubby keys, hoping for some Sarah Bruce, hoping for some dragon bones. Uh, other than that, I'm not really too bothered. Um, and then I'll send a uh, Tazar Telly and we'll buy some Kram ones. I actually think I've got like 40 Kram ones at the moment. Um, but, you know, might as well stock up. So, uh, yeah, I think we've already got enough, but I want to grab some anyway. It's quite useful to have them in the bank. Um, and we're sat on like 130k or something right now. So, yeah. Um, in terms of this episode, really, really happy with the upgrades. Obviously, the Crystal Shield. Now being able to wear the Barrow stuff as well. It was one of those one of those episodes where I just had to get that crystal shield because it needed to come as soon as possible. Um, and then obviously already having those barriers pieces, that 70 defense coming in is clutch. Expect to win this one, you know? I, I really do. Um, I'm sure he's going to do another round of barrows and try and get some upgrades. Maybe he will. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident here. Pretty confident. Maybe we can get some sharks here as well. Maybe I'll bring like a few sharks to this fight for... Um, What's it called? For some tickets. But uh, yeah, we will see. Here we go. Come on, sharks, please. Nice. Oh, a crystal key as well. Bruise as well? Fuck yes, man. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, another restore, which is great. That was a perfect one. I've got like four or five keys now. I need to... Oh my god, yes. More sharks. Ranging potion. Oh, it is all happening. Uh, yeah, I've got like four or five, maybe more crystal keys now. More sharks. There are more sharks and dragon bones. That was a really good. That was a really good one. Uh, three sharks here. Awesome. Uh, that was an awesome, awesome loot there. Oh, I'm over the moon at that. That's actually really, really good. Let's go to Tazar. Teleport. Loads of sharks there. A brew and a half, a restore, ranging potions, defense, and the dragon bones, and some death runes as well if I want to send some, like, barrows or something. Or just, you know, if, I guess I've got, like, 600 death runes or something in the bank, so it's not huge. But uh, there we go. All right, I'll grab some money, I'll buy some crumb ones, and then we are done. <sighs> I'm not happy right now. That was six. 25% chance. It honestly took forever to get three more doses of spice. Um, they were all just single drops, but we do have three more. Please, 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 please. Okay, drink. Man, that's seven now. Okay, well, we gotta keep doing it. This is exactly why I didn't want to wait till he was fully grown. Ooh, that was super quick. Our next two was, was an orange one and an orange two. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, I need to wait a second. I need to wait a second. Let's just catch some more in, in the process. Okay, here we go. We're 55. We're 55. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, the amount of negative threes I have gotten, which is the same chance for a positive three, by the way, just in case you were curious. I'm going to lose my mind, man. I'm going to lose my mind. That's eight. That's eight. We, we are twice the drop rate, if that's how you want to look at it. Just got a four-dose orange spice. Let's chuck it in there ASAP. No. No, no, no. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again, man. All right, we got three more. Uh, Put that in there. Okay. Drink. No comment. All right, three more. Where's the orange? There it is. One, two, three. Um. Okay, eat it or drink it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna let it do one more, and then I'm gonna do this just to make sure we can make some. Cause I'm terrified. It's the 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 level's gonna go down. Um, 58. Okay, it is 58. I was hoping it was 59. We should be okay. Even if we're not, we got it now. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm just so stressed this is gonna go away. Uh, yes. 60 of them. Finally! You watch him have a fucking anti-poison. 
Less than 32 minutes on the clock. We are started our first Barrows trip. We're not going to really be able to get too much done, guys. In in, in terms of Barrows, the, the, um, the bolts took quite a bit of time. Even if it doesn't work, I'm going to say it's not a waste of time because um, hybriding in the final fight will definitely be a thing. And the important thing about that is, you know, having some decent gloves. And Recipe for Disaster is how you get those gloves. So um, it is what it is. I think it could definitely work if he doesn't bring an anti. I mean, I guess there's always that chance he he thinks I'm going to go for that wild card move. Hopefully, he doesn't see it coming. Hopefully, he thinks his armor and his barrows, maybe crystal shield, could just tank through it all. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But, um, I mean, I need the emeralds to even have a chance at winning here. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the chests we get. Like I said, it's not going to be too many. But, um, hey, maybe we'll get a nice tank helm to bring to the fight. All right, Beats and Gs, this is going to be the setup. And there's uh, one thing you might think, what the hell is Link up to here? Well, I think the anti-poison's needed at this point. Because I think Kins is going to come into this fight thinking he needs to come up with some plan. He needs something to get me because he knows this is coming he knows this is coming i think he also knows the crystal shield's coming because uh the episode went out a bit earlier than it normally does this week um or it went out you know late however you want to look at it um so he had time to know and read the comments and and so he he definitely knows these two items are coming he possibly could know the crystal shield's coming as well i've got a fairly decent high, <laughs> a decent magic level as well 67 uh magic uh, so I don't think he'll go down the magic route. If he does, I'm not too worried because this setup with that magic defense and my level bolting against robes, I, I can't see him winning that. Um, melee, possibly. He could have gone for 60 attack and bringing a DDS. That's the first reason why I'm bringing the anti-poison because there is a possibility that he easily had enough, um... XP to get just 60, 60 attack quickly. He also easily had enough uh, woodcutting as well. I believe that he had the woodcutting level already to do Lost City. I think he's got all the chunks to do Lost City as well. So he could have easily done that. There's also the possibility that he went down like the whole fletching route. And maybe just tried to get enough XP. Maybe boosted with a Greenman's Ale or something like that. To do Myth Bolts Enchanted which require 58, and I think he was like 54 or 55 last time. So it's definitely possible if he if he's trying to snake a win here that he goes for the, uh, for the Myth Bolts. On top of that, last episode we found out that bringing two recoils really isn't that great. Uh, my recoil I put on almost instantly. I think I took one damage um, where I didn't have a recoil on, uh, but I put the recoil on straight after that. And my recoil had like 31 damage left in it. So it doesn't make sense to bring two recoils anymore because of the amount of damage we're doing. So instead of a recoil, I thought we'll bring the anti-poison in case he's trying to snake a win with emerald bolts or a dragon dagger. I do not want to sit there and just slowly see myself die to poison. That would be horrendous, especially in the gear we've got. I don't think I need to take any chances. Might as well do it. Might as well come prepared. Let him know that I'm prepared for this so that he doesn't go and try and start doing that in future episodes as well. Um, and yeah, the rest is pretty, pretty, pretty sick. I'm pretty happy with everything. We might get an obby cape or a fire cape. One of the two. I don't know which one I'll go for. Um, I'll definitely look into that next episode. So yeah, that's the setup. That's the plan. Let's see how it's going to go. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's poison in his plan. I will be over the moon. All right, I'm going to be going for 88% because I am getting a little low on death runes. Speaking of death runes, that's quite a bit good. If, if there's anything I need right now that isn't a Barrow's item, it's death runes because we definitely want to try to go to the deranged archaeologist in hopefully next episode's time, but sometime very soon. And, you know, we don't have much money on the account. And I want to alk all my Barrow's equipment. Chest number two of the day. Wish this man good luck. Um, okay, not the best. I'm about to die. Holy crap. I don't even know if I could tell you back. How much time do we have left on the uh, minigame teleport? Six minutes? That was a fucking horrible run. Okay, I'm going to go buy my Crambons now then, guys. And then... um. Back to Barrows, just so I don't waste any time. Eat the pop, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I don't know why that was so angry of me. 
All right, guys, we should be able to get one more chest if we're really quick. No death runes on that one. What? So Link is definitely going to show up with Barrows this fight. He's going to have Barrows. He might have a Crystal Shield. He's going to be pretty kitted out. Me, I am unfortunately rocking the same gear. Um, the gear itself with what I'm wearing definitely <laughs> wouldn't be enough to take him out. It couldn't even work on gear that was worse than this one. So I'm hoping the difference between... His gear and my gear isn't as big as the difference that Emerald Bolts can cause. If this thing poisons quick and he doesn't have an anti-poison, it's it like these are strong. These are incredibly strong. They have like a 55% chance of poisoning and they hit fives. And they constantly repoison again because it's 55% chance. So I, I don't think I'm gonna have to really be, you know, shooting these too much. If he has an anti-poison, I'm not even going to bother, of course. I just think at that point it wouldn't be worth it. But, um, of course, that was most of my plan this episode. And it's like my little Hail Mary, hoping that he just doesn't have anti-poison. He hasn't brought one yet, really. I mean, I think way early on, of course, he had it because I had the dagger, the Addy dagger. That's a throwback. Um, but even then, it didn't work. So, unless he has a hunch I did this, which, again, we didn't have any XP um in in skills so i'm really hoping he's not gonna see it coming but anyways let's go in the fight guys i'll see you there hey link four hours is up how you feeling man how you feeling after those four i mean i think i know i think you know how i'm feeling mate yeah you know well i uh, mean I got... in in terms of the difference to what i know and what i don't know how how are you feeling because i i know you're gonna have barrows you know i you i miss you know i'm gonna look you up link because i know you got 70 defense i mean yeah. obviously i yeah. did yeah, yeah. Okay. um obviously so i mean you you know these items so i might as well put them on <laughs> yeah. you know what i have <laughs> i know you also know about this because because of how the episodes came out this week guys we had a chance to actually see the comments and stuff before we filmed, so I know you know I have this as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's been it's been on my radar as well, season two. So I, it's a definitely yeah. a play. It was an eighty range defense. Like fuck's sake, I yeah. definitely expected it. So, so honestly, mate, at this point, that <laughs> no, just... no I mean, <laughs> you know what I, I mean. Think. My gear could be different. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, maybe yeah. you went to fucking deranged archaeologist. My guy just threw on the fucking gear. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, no, I was I, I, I think you could have some different stuff, but I don't want to waste everyone's time because everyone's known this gear for two episodes now, you know. I mean, this let's put um, on the stuff that you know that I have. Okay, well, it could change, but stuff that is gonna make or break anything. But it is the same, anyways. So, Link, you know what? Just call out some items. I'll, I'll, I'll put them up. I'll put them up. I'll put them up. All right, let's go legs. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I didn't. I don't know if I expect that to change or not because it does give a good range bonus, and it is defensive in a way. I I don't um, know if you're trying to patronize me right now or if this is a concern for you because like you had a fucking granted play body last episode and you beat me. Well, you know, we'll I, I don't I mean, even know why I'm trying to fucking sugarcoat this. <laughs> I didn't get right. any arrows. I okay, I got wow. fucking nothing. Link, can really? we please compare stats right now? Because I'm, I'm assuming uh, my defense might be a little higher, but your range attack must be through. I don't think it will be. Somewhere. I don't think it will be with this crystal shield. Oh, actually, I've got I forgot about that. Two, two, eight, two range defense. Wow, two, seven, six. It's close. Wow, yes. Um, with 115 range attack. 150. 15. Oh, I'm 103, I dude. Wish I, it was... Dude, I think my stats are closer than how your granite nonsense shit fucking was to this. So, may maybe the RNG gods just favor the lesser build. So you, you watch me win this somehow. <laughs> um. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I, I, that range attack's a bit lower than I thought, but your range defense is immaculate right now. So yeah, it's through the roof. Yeah, um, I'm gonna look you up concerning. briefly. Yeah, yeah. I actually just looked at your defense. I see 74 range, 70 defense, same as mine. Yeah. Okay, Although you so got a lot of XP other. into uh, into yeah, the we're, next we're level. Yeah, we're 50k away from 75, which actually is a max hit in the current year. <laughs> so 75 is a big one to hit. Um. Mm -mm. 53 prayer. I got 56 prayer. I was doing a bit of baby dragons today, and I also went to the chaos 
or the wieldy altar with the dragon bones and baby dragon bones and some big bones I got from Obor. So I, I put in pretty much my whole, well, every bone I had in my bank up at the uh, chaos altar. Right, yeah, 56, um, okay. Okay. 64 magic. How many, how many chests did you do? Uh, well, this episode, I didn't do too many. It was only like five or so. I was just focusing on other stuff because, uh, I don't know, I just it, it seems like I was wasting so much time at Barrows. And, I mean, like deep down, I'm just thinking Barrows is still the move. But, you know, if, if I went all episode and got nothing, this fight would, would just be a loss. And I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. up by one. Yeah, and then I fucking forgot how damn fucking slow that is, so I fucking gave up that nonsense. Uh, you didn't uh, have higher cooking than me, no chance. I it, that's from questing. I mean, you'll know. Oh, I was okay. I was I was just working on some RFD, and I think that was from right. that might even been from the cooks one. I, I didn't do a lot in in cooking right. XP, man. So, but man's got higher cooking than me now. Okay. Uh, right, yeah, that's like fine. you don't have crayons and or sharks. So. <laughs> Um, uh okay not uh, much looks i'm actually different. a bit fuming Why? i'm actually a bit fuming i i'll trade with you i'll trade with you and uh -oh. i'll show you why i thought you would try and pull something out so i thought either a dds or emerald bolts was coming so i brought an anti-poison did you please say have you i mean are, are, you know what let's let's grab the gear let's grab the gear Let's okay, so I mean, as I showed you, boom. I I really I really thought I've got a good advantage. That I might as well, and I'll just see what happens. Maybe you bring it, maybe you don't. But it doesn't look like you're going to. I don't think you've got any poison on you, do you? <gasps> Honestly. Let's just hop worlds. You know what, Link? Just quickly show me your inventory. Quick. Quick. Sharks. Cram wands. I'm <laughs> hopping. Come on, RNG gods. I fucking need it in my favor. You know, the one good thing about this is now that you might feel obligated to fucking bring it every every episode. But of course... Oh, the, I, the advantage... That was another that reason I did it. I was like, if I bring it now, he probably won't even bother with the bolts. Fuck! I'm fucking over the moon at that shit. <laughs> <sighs> Boxing. Let's just let's just go into this, man. Wow. Because I know wow, which wow, way wow. this is headed. I know which way this is headed. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm I'm ready when you are. So. <laughs> All right. I'll let you know. I'm potting I'm up. Spotting. I'm. I'm a potty boy. Two second warning. Okay, this is where RNG is going to flip the other way around. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if I won, I give up on Jagex. Like, I, 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 as much as I really want to win, I'd be incredibly shocked if I did. So, incredibly shocked. So, you bring in two bolts at the moment? Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah, I'm yeah, actually... sorry. I don't know if I showed that. It was in my inventory. Yeah. I'm, I'm high of the rune. The emeralds so are not strong actually... enough to win this fight. I, yeah, so yeah, weird. yeah, I don't know, for sure. I, I, I respect that. So I've technically haven't even lost a spot there because you had to bring two bolts for it for the antipod. I'm, I'm, fuck me, dude. I really, it, it was more just like trying to make some excitement. Not gonna lie, of like outplaying. And it wasn't one hundred percent sure it was gonna actually come off. And I'm fucking buzzing. Uh, I think it'd be dumb if you didn't do it. To be honest. I was just hoping you'll. It was very it. similar to what what you said last fight, where you were like, "I think he's going to go for a wild card and just try and win it in some way." Like mm -hmm. that was my thought process on you. Like, there's no way he's coming into this fight and just trying to go for a range on range fight. You know. Uh, you know, if we had five KC Barrows luck, I could easily do that. But unfortunately, <laughs> we don't live in that world. You know. We don't live in that world, guys. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. I am hitting. How? Like, I wow, swear, yeah. I'm hitting more than that granite fucking body. God, I missed that prayer flick. Can't wait to get roasted for that one. Fuck. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you guys have me fucking fuming. Honestly, I hate everything right now, Link. Oh, man. It's okay, kid. Everything's gonna uh, be alright. That That is a joke, guys, before anybody actually thinks I'm bent out of shape. Uh, it fine. is a he's joke. Fine. It is a joke. I love you all. How much? Underpaid. Just take that whole part out. Honestly, it's just not <laughs> worth it.
it's just not fucking worth it at this point. This is where Underpay doesn't listen to the fight and it stays in. Oh no, he, he edits it first, so... He likes to spoil it. He likes his pudding before his dinner, mate. Like if, actually tanky. Like, so. if you lost this, would you go back to the granite plate body? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think I'm joking? That's a serious question. I don't even want question. to talk about that. That's a serious question. That. That's the funny part, guys. I'm no, genuinely. I can't. You can't go against what the game's telling you. You can't. <laughs> I don't know about that, Link. Oh, that one I missed too. Come on. I've also got a seven prayer bonus in this as well, which is fucking lovely. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Dude, I'm actually hitting more on you and it bothers me. Yeah, you are. You are. I'm struggling here. <laughs> oh my god. Surely not. Surely not, Jagex. You are not going to do this. All RNG balance is out, right? At least that's what they've been telling me. Like, oh my god. That, that's what they've been Shit. telling me. Surely not. Surely not, Jagex. I haven't been hitting. I have not been hitting. Good. And your range attack is higher than last time. So. Yeah. Uh, my defense, defense is, is up the by same. Like my defense is up by like a hundred and something. My defense is actually lower. I'll be completely honest. I I'm I'm rocking rock skin right now. So, Oof, uh, nice. maybe rock skin's broken, mate. <laughs> Something's broken, Link, and I'm, I'm <laughs> I am going to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Respect. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. I didn't go to Cambridge this week, so. Maybe that was your mistake. Yeah. Maybe it was the blowjobs. <laughs> Link, I would not get in the habit of saying that if I was you. Oh, did you see the top comments on the last fucking video? <laughs> it was all about me sucking off Monash. So oh, that's, that's because you made the joke. <laughs> like, you started it. All right? <laughs> The top comment has like 600 likes. It was like rug burns <laughs> on the knees or something, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Come on. Hit. Yes. And again. Come on. This should smoke Kins. This gear should absolutely smoke him. I'm more of a cured kind of guy, Link. I'm a Taylor Ham man, so. Ooh. What a fucking dish. <laughs> Guys, it's Taylor Ham report roll. Go. You have not brought that into this. I mean, we yes. we we always talk about something whack, don't we? You know, and that's that's today's topic of conversation. Okay. I feel like we didn't have a, a didn't, we didn't have one before the fight, did we? Ah, you know, dude, Link, if you got something, say it now, man. Ooh, say it I don't now. have anything. I'm just focusing on not losing in this gear. Well, Link, it, it's like skill set is no longer. It's just RNG right now, man. You know. Mm. So my mouse is loving a double click right now. I'll tell you that. Oof. Oof. Come on. Who's got PID, mate? Maybe it'll go down to PID. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Having a good end here.
You want to whip the emeralds out quickly, mate? I actually thought about it, but it's such an obvious emote that, like... <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, my whole body goes green. Yeah. Like... So, no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Un... Where are the hits at? Where are the hits at? Nice. Are you out? Yeah. Okay. Just don't fuck it up from here. Just don't fuck it up from here. What is this zero fest? Yeah, legit. What the fuck? You both just can't hit. There's a six. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god. For a, for a bit, that early on in the fight, I did feel it could have swayed, but it definitely it, it set off towards the end. Whew. Okay. The age-old okay. question, Link. How much food? Uh, six. Last one was five. I, I, don't, I don't get how your gear now is, like, the same as your fucking granite plate body strat. It, uh, I'm done trying to figure it out, though, man. Legit. Legit. <laughs> All right, Beezer Gs. I mean, yeah, was expecting that. A little bit worried at the start. Um, it seemed a bit closer than it probably should have been, but you know, it, it, just the gear difference. It should have. That should be what happened. Um, but a little bit odd that it was literally one food difference between this gear and my granite and blue dehyde, but it's the way it goes, isn't it? Um, let's go ahead and spin. To be honest, I just want to push up to the deranged archaeologist now, so that's what we're looking for. 205. We tried. We tried, guys. You saw it coming. Um, is what it is. You know, I'm going to keep trying my best to uh, try to get those outplays. It's like really all I could say at this point. Um, so let's um, see where we go next. Hopefully it's a good spin. 358. I'm getting a lot in this, in this area. I think I know where this area is at least. 358. You have got to be fucking joking. You have got to be shitting me. I'm actually angry because this now looks fake almost. The RNG, what the fuck? Oh my god, I actually feel bad. I genuinely feel bad. I, I genuinely feel upset. Because the, the, the RNG I've had this season actually is, is mad. Poor fucking kinos. Oh dear. 358 is by the Shanty Pass. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly where I'm going to unlock yet, guys, but it's just a case of seeing wh what I want to do next episode. I have to make sure I, I have all the chunks for the Fossil Island quest, Bowen Voyage, and just fine tune some. Uh, some squares. Actually, guys, I looked into it a little bit more. So obviously, we got this chunk here. Um, I got very excited, but uh, I actually, <laughs> I got too excited too quickly. You actually need this chunk or this chunk, I can't remember. It's one of the woodcutting guild chunks to do the quest. And I'm nowhere near it. I think my closest chunk is like here. And obviously it means that I cannot get to Fossil Island until I roll a Zaya chunk. So like it was great to get it, but I'm actually not going to be able to get it until I roll Zaya and then get down here somehow. So, wasn't as OP as I thought it was going to be. Might save me some chunks in the future, but it's definitely still off limits for now. So, yeah. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. Congrats, Link. You just won yourself 125k XP in any skill, and I have myself 100k XP that can go in any skill. Again, man, GZ. Rough Thank loss on, on my end. I feel like my back is still against the wall. But, Link, I have exciting news, and I, I don't know why I'm, I'm, like, talking to you with this. You already know. 
But hmm. the series is beginning to wrap up, and there's not many episodes left. So get those final plans in motion, Link, because before you know it, we'll be battling out for glory in the season finale. So coming, it's coming. We'll I see will. You then, I will see you on Thursday for another video, Link. Let's Good go. Luck. See you then. Bye, guys.